very beautiful day. When you walk all the way down to town, take out money, do some bills, take rent money as well. And now you gotta walk all the way back down, mile down the fucking road, just to get home. And the weather is, ugh. I should really fucking invest in transportation. So good day in Swabians today. I'm gonna be honest, today has just been there. Because, like I said, just doing the errands and then coming straight home has just been one of those quiet days. I mean, the good thing was as well, I did pick up a planner as well in which I'm writing down everything I need for the next month or so to say, hey, alright, so paid rent, got the receipts, got this, got that. Uh, got more information needed for immigrations date of my immigrations this you know what did i submit to immigrations back in may and everything in between so it's just getting that slowly in there as well as putting down my schedule because i think it's easy just to say hey i'm working today at this time and this date because the amount of times i go through my pockets to find my schedule that i've written on scrap piece of paper is just too annoying so <sighs> I don't know. Quiet night. Fourteening. Putting a pole up ready for tomorrow. So I'm prepping for tomorrow being whether or not I'm going to stream either Watch Dogs 2, which I just picked up today, or if I'm going to do Star Trek Online. So that pole is up right now. And so far, it's leaning to one way. Yeah, which I'm okay with. So a little bit of a relax and so it's a bit of a quiet night yeah I know it's a little bit of a mess I got my wig up on my little hair stand so that makes it fun where's my little lever of alley oops there we go alley up alley up hey I got it up hey uh, I got a little bit of wine left as well in which I will say this now uh, basically drinking while vlogging should not be a responsible thing to do. My vlogs do not endorse alcohol whatsoever, and I do say this now: if you are going to drink, guys, please drink responsibly, including as well, you know, if you are out with friends and family, please make sure you have a designated driver, and also as well, don't drink and drive. That's the main thing I can go with. That I know. <sighs> Fun ones. Sleep the night is just a slow, sluggish one, and I don't like those nights where. I don't do anything well I don't really plan anything as much but there are days in which like today I don't have any work until tomorrow I am in work tomorrow at what time? see it's a good thing I have a planner I'm in work tomorrow at 11 a.m. and then I have Monday off in which Hopefully tomorrow when we do Sunday boops with my D&D team to say hey I got Monday off is there any chance we can do a session Monday I would like to try and do something there, but if not, that would be a shame because it kind of fluxes on what my schedule looks like with work that I have. There are some days in which I will have maybe a couple of days off in a row and there's some days where it bounces back and forth, so I'm in tomorrow, off Monday, in Tuesday, off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I am in. So technically that week I do have... Well, starting Monday till Sunday, I do have a two-day weekend in which it's fine. And let me just do a quick maths. Uh, five. Yeah, five, nine, ten, twelve, one. No, I'm doing. See, maths is fucking good, I'll say that now. So I'll have 18 hours that week, and then what my schedule looks like next week onwards is something I'll have to look into. But in that time as well, from now until oh, September 4th, I have to try and get as much information and more pictures and such. And I know one of them being that Sterling is going to be next Sunday, 
and I'll be happy for that because at least then we'll have some pictures and footage there. It's just trying to get a lot of information and stuff because the thing is, me is when I put in a lot of information with them there and yet it's still kind of... Because they ask, say, oh, we need more information to show it's good faith. I'm like, I've given you everything I have right now. And basically, if we do have more information, it's going to be the same things where it's going to be just bills, one or two new pictures, and that's it. Because everything we just threw to immigration and just said, right, that is as much as we got to say, hey, this is in good faith about our marriages and everything in between. We can't give out any more information than that because what else is there that you want to know you know Amen. and honestly I will say this now and I will take a little sip of wine before going on yeah I will admit me and Chris we are not the outgoing sort of type we're not ones that will go straight off to New York City San Francisco Los Angeles or anything like that go on big vacations like that we're not the type of people in which we'll do like weekends out and about all the time why because here's the thing one of them being is we both work our schedules are all over the place I could be working mornings or afternoons or closing days at the store Chris is going to be working at a fixed schedule where he will work in the morning with freelancing work and then straight into the afternoon odd he will have then eight nine hours where he'll work up until midnight and then come home go to sleep and then it's the same thing again and again and again when we do have a weekend that's somewhat to ourselves and when it's me and him we're either just flopping on the sofa doing absolutely nothing because we just want a day to recharge our batteries or in another way we do hang out with friends in which majority of our friends that we have are online we do discord we do playstation party chats we do everything in between there everything is online and including as well with Dungeons Dragons that's online as well you know that's how we hang out with our friends and such the technology days you know it's surprising and amazing that with the era of technology that we are you can have friends that are 3,000 miles across the water over back in Wales or in Tenby or you know in Scotland Aberystwyth I'm naming all these places like Ugh. but uh, that's us also as well money wise yeah fair enough I will admit I did cock up when I lost my job with the casino I was getting a good pay there but honestly good pay mentally was not there no I had stress anxiety with the job I had and I did used to work for the spa department with the casino and which I will say Yes, I had to change to the job that got me fired because it was giving me better pay and also as well the position they gave me was first supervisor and then after a while that stressed me out they dropped me back down to rep but also as well I can honestly say I do regret that I had to move from the spa I did it for the purpose of it was giving me a better pay in which was helping at that time me and Chris Financially, I had to do it to support my family. Would I go back to the casino and if I was given a chance to work at the spa? Yeah, I would. I would do that again in a heartbeat. But it is what it is right now. And, you know, with financially speaking, we can't always do what we want to do to say, hey, let's plan on going to New York City and stuff. We have to spend a lot of money. We have to put a lot of money aside just to make that happen and it's like with the trips to Wales as well you know we would like to go to Wales we've done this many years now every single beginning of the year I would say let's plan on going to Wales but different things happen a couple of years back we had to do taxes and that took a lot out of us the year before that we lost the car the car was suspended and everything we didn't have a car for nine months I was the one that was basically taking Ubers back and forth from work and also as well paying majority of the rent and some of the bills so at that time we didn't have anything sorted. This year we thought hey we'll make an exception there, nope get fired from the job and lack of money just kind of made it more stressing. 
But it is what it is. We have to learn from it. So we're not outgoing type people. You know, we stay in once in a while. We'll go out maybe once or twice, grocery shopping or anything like that. But that's it. But that's me. That's Chris. That's who we are. I don't know what else we can say to immigration to say, hey, listen, this is who we are. It's not like, you know, you see gay marriages and stuff, you see other people, it's like, hey, let us plan to go here, there, and everywhere, go to Pride, this, that, and that. We don't do that. No. I'd like to do that in a way, but how can we with our schedules? How can we with our finances? It Being adults is fun. Gotta love that. I will say honestly, I'm glad that I do these vlogs to vent stuff out. And I do vent it out to Chris as well on situations. But it's nice to vent it out on camera as well to say, listen, this is how I'm feeling right now. It's not great, but it helps me out. It really does. And I had one or two colleagues of mine before saying, oh, why don't you look for getting a therapist and stuff? Here's the thing, with what money? Medical over here, the US medical system, hey, top notch, I will say, I don't get me wrong, they were fantastic, they helped me with my stomach when I found out I had Crohn's disease, but financially, it's a long shot and stuff. If they had the NHS system over here, yeah. If I was in Canada, yeah. But right now, we had to do what we had to do. So trying to find a therapist is one thing, but also as well,